But before we get there, let's jump into the Roto World player news because we have a lot of injuries we're tracking. For all of your player news, go to NBCSports.com. Tua and Zach Moss practiced in full on Wednesday. That's a good sign. Obviously, Tua with the shoulder, it's more soreness right now. Trevor Lawrence was limited as well as his wide receiver, Christian Kirk, who could be officially activated. Jaden Reed with the chest injury. Sam Laporta with an ankle. They were both limited as well. A lot of DMPs after that. Devontae Smith with the ankle. T. Higgins with a hamstring. Jalen Waddell with the ankle, still not practicing. Noah Brown with a back injury. Also not practicing, and it does not stop there. Raheem Mostert with that knee, he's still not practicing. Alvin Kamara, and that's a massive game. That's a game where everything's on the line, so watch those down to the wire. Alvin Kamara with the ankle did not practice. Kenneth Walker with the shoulder. Isaiah Pacheco with a quad and shoulder did not practice. Rasheed Rice, Najee Harris, Josh Jacobs, Amari Cooper, Baker Mayfield, and Keenan Allen all did not practice Wednesday, so you want to track these right down to the some wire the, here, guys. Some of them we can already tell you. like. Amari Cooper don't ain't play playing. Some of them. Yeah, Amari yeah. Cooper ain't playing. Like the Browns are resting, right? Yep. I mean, some of those guys. I don't think Jalen Waddle plays, right? You know, so some of those you sort of already know. Pacheco, Rasheed Rice, the Chiefs are going to rest, and we're going to we're going to get into uh, sort of the motivation, not only through love hate, uh, as you'll see today, but tomorrow will be a show dedicated to sort of who's playing, who isn't, uh, as well. So some of them you already sort of know. Some of them make you nervous. Trevor Lawrence, like even if he goes yeah. on the road at Tennessee. Like, this might be, I don't think it is, but this might be Mike Vrabel's last. Uh, it's a lot of weird stuff coming out It's a lot of weird there. stuff in Tennessee. I think they're nuts, by the way. If I was running Tennessee, like, I think Mike Vrabel's a great coach. Yeah. I think he has done a lot with not a lot to work with over the many years. They always play tough for him. I think, I will say this, if Vrabel were suddenly to become available, Come on over to the Commanders, yeah. Mike Vrabel. I would, I would take you in a heartbeat. I, I suspect that New England might make a strong run at Vrabel sure. as well. Two years if ago, were... Vrabel was coach of the year. He got a one seed with Ryan Tannel yeah. as his quarterback with yeah. Derrick Henry You'd missing half the year him. with the most injured yeah. team in the league. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know what's going on there. But the point is, is that there is a, there's a, there's a non-zero chance that this game in Tennessee is Vrabel's last as the head coach of the Titans. And, you know, listen, they're not going to make the playoffs, but they wouldn't mind ruining the playoff chances of the Jacksonville Jaguars, their rival, their division rival. And so with Trevor Lawrence at less than 100%, this on the road to Tennessee, which is always a tough place to play, this that one makes me nervous. Like I had a buddy text me, Tua or uh, or Trevor Lawrence, and I think the answer's got to be Tua. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You yeah, know, I like, I, again, yeah. I know it's a tough game against the Bills, but, yeah, Trevor just I, – I'm nervous about that one. Yeah. Baker Mayfield is the other one, the big quarterback under yeah. an injury, because he, like, this is win and win the division, lose, and they're done for the season. And he's going into Carolina, the team that released him last year. So I think he will do everything possible to play. X rays were negative on his ribs. So he is practicing today as a limited participant, but. If you watch the videos of his practice and the beat reporting, like he's not throwing the ball more than 15 yards. So I don't know. I get. I would guess that he's going to play and probably be pretty limited. And by the way, not for nothing. Over the last month, the Carolina Panthers are the second best pass defense in yep. the NFL. They've played kind of inspired football here. Buccaneers are only four and a half point favorites, yep. and I think that if you said like, what do you think the line is? Mm. Oh, the Panthers are awful. The Bucks are, you know, a legitimate playoff team. Yep. Like, hey, it's got to be maybe a touchdown or. But, it's four and a half. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of a couple of years ago when Carson Wentz went into Jacksonville as a 17-point favorite, just needed to win to get into the playoffs, and they got completely blown out by rookie number one pick Trevor Lawrence, just like rookie number one pick Bryce yeah. Young might be able to do the box. So I'd be a little bit worried about Baker because we've seen Baker play through injuries in the past, and it has not been pretty. Right. But he is a gamer. He's tough, and I think he's just going to play. But I wouldn't expect that. I mean, maybe he will. Maybe he'll be throwing 60-yard bombs to Mike Evans, but I'd be a little bit concerned. I, it feels like this is this is a big Rashad White game. Just a bunch yeah. of dump-offs, try to run. You can run on Carolina. Game's in Carolina, so on the road. Try to take them out of it as well. And they're going to need the defense to step up. They're going to need the defense. It is worth noting, as you see it there on your screen, Roto-World uh, football headline there, Baker is.